One of the hottest sites on the internet right now is Formspring. They have 40 million uniques in less than 18 months. And we're gonna find out how they did it with their unique blend of finding out about your friends who have social service. Who are you? I'm Ade Alano, the CEO and founder of Formspring. Uh, basically, it's a site, uh, it's a social site where friends get to know each other, uh, their personality, their sense of humor, and uh, what they're interested in. And I, I've been on it, and people ask you all sorts of questions like, what kind of movies do you like, what right. kind of books do you have on your shelf, stuff like that. Yeah. How did you come up with this service? Yeah, so it actually started as a side project from my uh, previous company, which is a tool for creating online forms for uh, small businesses largely. But um, basically, it started with a seed of I saw certain bloggers um, using contact forms uh, on their blog and websites to basically solicit ideas from their readers uh, for things for them to write about. And so um, saw that behavior kind of growing a little bit and, and uh, people um, you know, thought that was pretty interesting and kind of married that with some of the you know, thinking um, around social uh, media and stuff like that. And really finding, feel my sense that there wasn't really a great way uh, to really know more about people in, in, a, in a deeper way. Yeah. Um, a lot of social tools are out, out there great for understanding what you're doing right now, where you are, and you know, things like that, uh, versus kind of a more uh, getting people to tell their story. And again, you know, showing their sense of humor, expressing their personality, things like that. Yeah, Facebook really took off because of this, this need to sort of tell everybody, you know, I'm into, you know, skiing or I'm into right. the, my hobbies. And, yeah. But it's a really a cold way to tell somebody what you're into. Yeah, it's kind of more of a directory in a sense, and you list your interests and things like that. Whereas Formspring, it's more, I think the way that um, I like to think about it a lot of times is like taking a coffee shop conversation, say, you know, you just met somebody or a friend that you're catching up with. And, you know, how do you, looking at kind of the, the conversation, the back and forth nature of that, how do you take that online? And so um, the, the, one of the core activities on Forspring is you ask your friend questions. And if you think about that coffee shop conversation, most of those conversations start with, you know, what are you doing this weekend? Hey, what did you think about this that happened? Or, you know, some, you know, and talking through like that. And so that's what we're really trying to bring to the web. Do you hook into f Facebook or Twitter? Or? Yeah, yeah. So uh, people can, you know, uh, uh, yeah, set up, uh, use Facebook Connect to log in and can also connect to Twitter and uh, Tumblr and WordPress and, and other sites like that to either syndicate content or find friends through those networks. Yeah. You've gotten a 40 million uniques, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, cool. 24 million registered users and uh, over 3 billion responses posted on the site so far. How, how did you? How, how did that happen? It wasn't a TechCrunch post, was it? It was not a TechCrunch. <laughs> we actually, uh, I think we, we, so we hit a million registered users in less than 45 days and I think we hit that before we ever got covered by TechCrunch or anybody. It, it was just very, uh, extremely viral. A lot of uh, you know, people just telling their friends about it. And, and you know, it's similar to Facebook or Twitter, or lots of social sites where you get the most value when all your friends are on it. And so I think a lot of our users you know, get very engaged and then you know, are very motivated to tell their friends, hey, I'm on Formstring, come ask me questions. Uh, and then because the content is so interesting and, and you really, I think, you know, learn really cool stuff about people quickly, I think it gets very you know, uh, engaging. Was that viral loop designed explicitly or was it accidental? No, I mean, it, it was, um, I mean, it was largely accidental, I'd say. I mean, it's not like I don't consider myself, you know, a viral ninja or something like that. You, know? <laughs> like you I, are now. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm mostly, so even though I have an engineering background, I've done, you know, built a lot of apps, um, over the years, I'm, I'm always much more interested in kind of the psychology behind things and, and how do we, um, you know, how do people interact and what's the psychology behind it and how do we use technology to facilitate that. And so I think, you know, I, I think basically the Formspring interaction is, is such where um, I really do think we hit something unique in terms of how uh, we've re reduced the barrier to participation for a lot of people. So, yeah. I mean, w w one thing to think about is with blogging and, you know, tweeting and for... For you know you and I, that's you know not very hard. Um, yeah. But I think for the average person looking at that blank box, it's really hard to think of on the spot. You know, what should I write about? Who cares what I'm saying, yeah. etc. 
Um, but with Formspring, because everything I, you... I thought everybody tweeted about <laughs> what they had for lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, uh, but you know, with Formspring, because everything that you post is in response to a question or, or to you know comment or something like that, yeah. it's it's a lot more natural. And again, it's a lot more conversational. So yeah. um, if I ask you as you know, hey, what'd you have for lunch yesterday? As we're just having a conversation, you don't think you don't think anything of it. You know, on Twitter, I think most people would feel like, what, you know, why would I even post this? Nobody cares, et cetera. And so I think that's that's something that's been pretty, um, that's been one of the core things about Formstream. I noticed I haven't even been on the site very much, but yeah. other people are, keep asking me questions there and yeah. trying to draw me back in. It's very, right. I guess that's the viral loop that we were talking about. Right? Yeah, that, that's a big part of it as well as the people, I mean, and when you think about, um, you know, so whether it's Facebook or Twitter or elsewhere, I want to know more about you, and the way I do that is kind of wait for you to say what I want to know. But you know, it sounds kind of basic to say, but um, I, if I get to ask you a question, then that's just more powerful because I get to know directly what you know, wh what you know, what do you think about this, or what what are you like in this way, and 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 again from your side you know that you're really producing content that at least one person cares to know the answer to. So. Yeah. What happens if I answer that question? Does that the person ask the question, is there a game to it or anything like that? No, there's no like, you okay. know, there. You're not keeping points or anything? <laughs> no, we have no points, no leaderboards or anything like that right now. Um, I mean, you do see how many, you know, how many responses you posted on the site, but it's just, you know, it's just a count. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, it's just, I think that satisfaction of like, it's, it's really, and actually, in, in a lot of ways, we've been um, you know, pretty deliberate about removing a lot of what, what you think is typical game mechanics in the sense that we really want to focus on the core content. And so um, I want you to post things that uh, is relevant to the people reading, and I want people to be engaged by that as well. Yeah. yeah. How are you, are you on the Twitter monetization uh, schedule, or are you trying to actually monetize earlier? <laughs> uh, we're trying to monetize earlier. We're, we're working pretty actively on a number of different models right now. We haven't yeah. um, launched anything yet, but we'll later this year uh, around, it'll be advertising-based in, in some way, uh, not subscription, not, you know, not anything like that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, we're still, you know, again, 18 months old, so we've had to kind of you know, focus a lot on the product first and then start to, you know, build into the, the monetization. Aspect. How many employees do you have? Uh, we're at about 28 right now, and okay. I think uh, probably half of them are less than six months old. So we've been growing you know, really quickly. So you're funded, I would say? say? Yeah, we raised um, a total of $14 million last year. So uh, we did a, a seed round led by Baseline uh, early last year, and then um, late last year uh, did a, a bigger round with uh, Redpoint leading that round. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, how have you been able to deal with the scale that you've been seeing? Uh, it's been Twitter always was down. I haven't seen you guys down right. yet. Right. Well, uh, that's good. We've definitely had uh, some outages, but uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, it was something that we had to deal with very from a very early uh, stage, and um, we did have some you know horrific you know days and, and nights, especially early on, trying to keep the side up. Um, you know, largely we've been able to kind of build out. A, a decent infrastructure that can scale horizontally, and um, uh, have been you know pretty successful at, at doing doing that to a large degree. And thankfully, uh, Facebook and Twitter have helped you know blaze you know th that trail a little bit, and uh, so using some of the tools and things like that, uh, it's been helpful. But yeah, it's still definitely a challenge. And um, yeah, with all that traffic and all the activity, it's something that you know it's hard to keep up with sometimes. Yeah. What have you learned by doing this? Uh, in terms of the scale, or just in general? In general, I know. Uh, what are you seeing? I, I've learned far, far too much to, to I guess, say succinctly. succinctly but um, you know, one of the things that's that's just um, that's kind of been interesting to to me to watch, uh, uh, kind of taking myself out of it, looking at what's happening with Formspring, is that um, I do really think that people are looking for for more than just one way to interact online and in a social manner, and I think. Um, it's been surprising to a lot of people to see us grow so quickly because I think the assumption was, well, you know, it's kind of done. We have, you know, what, what we, you know, what, uh, what's going to be there. But, you know, we continue to see new tools and new services pop up that grow pretty rapidly. Um, and I feel like um, we're just very much at the early stages of this and still, you know, all collectively figuring it out. And so um, it's just kind of fun and interesting to watch how people you know, adopt these different technologies to use. Um, I mean, one uh, I've talked about largely Formspring is, you know, kind of communication between friends and things like that. But 
it's been been interesting to watch like colleges starting to use this for admissions processes so how, in, how are they doing that so so incoming students basically asking colleges uh, different um, you know things about life on campus and stuff ah. that like they probably wouldn't ask a you know a counselor or somebody in the actual interview process like and, and this is I'm not making this up like do dorms provide toilet paper uh, or do I need to bring my own you know from home like things like you know weird questions like that um, and then also things like uh, one of one of my favorite users is uh, a rabbi based in New York City that you know uses it to address his congregation and then they ask him questions and things like that about you know problem issues they're dealing with and stuff like that so it's always kind of fun to see the, the breadth of how you know something like this is being used um, since you guys started iPad came out and you know yeah. mobiles really white hot it, are you seeing a how how you think about the service changing because of the new devices that are coming out? Yeah, for sure. So right now we don't have uh, uh, an iPad app or, or an iPhone app. Uh, it's something we're working on and something that you know we're hoping to launch this summer. We do have some third party uh, apps that are out there that are based on you know very limited API that we have, um, but think that uh, obviously we're all using mobile more and more. And I mean that's. You know, today versus two years ago, it's, uh, it's just vastly different, and so I think that'll change. You know how we interact, the types of things we do, and just um, you know, uh, as you know, mobile uh, tends to lead to kind of short burst interactions versus an interaction where you're sitting at a desk in front of a screen and maybe spending you know, hours at end in front of a computer, and so that changes how you know you might use something like FormSpring. So yeah, yeah. Do you feel pressure because of the, all the IPOs that are happening right now? You know. Oh, we're we're probably so far from an IPO that it's not. It's I fun to watch. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're growing so fast, man. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, I, there's I, not I, many companies that have tens of millions of customers, right? right or right. users, right? Yeah. So. Well, I just I you know there's certainly a lot more we need to do in, in, in terms of you know uh, establishing the business model and continuing to grow the team and and the product and things like that. But it's it's definitely exciting to watch and it's good to be you know kind of in this climate and then the alternative. Do you think right? do you think about how how to get to hundred million users? Is that something you think about? Like how do I double my users or triple my users? Yeah, yeah. I mean it's you know, I feel very happy and blessed by kind of where we've been today, but it's I mean, we're still very early and so yeah, we're twenty four now and so we have to keep continue to think how do we how do we double that, double that again and so on and so forth. And so yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's something we work pretty hard at. You pr uh, you're probably thinking a company culture and hiring. It's pretty tough right now because there's yeah so many companies. I mean, I was just driving on 101 and I saw billboard after billboard, right. jobs, jobs, jobs. We yeah, have jobs. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's definitely a tough climate to hire, uh, and and it's something that um, you know company culture is something that's very important to me. Uh, and uh, yeah, especially at this stage, you know, growing from uh, well, you know, growing from you know. Very few to, to you know twenty eight um, uh, over a pretty short period. It's something to definitely keep an eye on uh, when you're hiring that quickly. And so yeah, it's something I think about quite a bit. And we try to you know we try still to be very picky in our hiring process. And you know uh, you know that it is what it is. It's it's yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Are you going to spin out other products to uh, to um, make better use of what you're learning about your users? Well, um, no, I mean, not, you know, other than kind of looking at uh, whether it's, you know, different apps across mobile and things like that and, you know, really different ways to do this, the same core interaction. I think that's what we're much more focused on right now than kind of unrelated products, I would say. I think there's still a lot that we need to do uh, within, you know, this product to get it to, you know, to fulfill what, what we all want it to be. And so uh, we'll be busy on that for, you know, for quite a while. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Where, where do we learn more about you and about the company? Yeah, at formspring.me. Uh, and me personally, you can learn about me at formspring.me slash Ade, A-D-E. And are you on Twitter and Facebook as well? I am on Twitter and Facebook as well. Ade Alana is my handle on, on Twitter and, and Facebook as well. Very cool. Thank you so All much. Right, thank you. Congrats.